Borders, round two. We're back at the sewing machine. I'm going to insert the second series of interior flange and exterior borders. Check this out. I'm gonna zoom the camera in so you can really see what's going on. You'll only be able to see the needle moving in the foot and hear the uh, rumbling of my voice. So try to follow along. I'm gonna show you the beginning and the end so you know how it works. Obviously, I'm gonna do this to both sides of the quilt. Okay, so it starts like this. Exterior border on exterior border. That's it. The flange is left aside. I'm going to sneak it in under the other flange once I get started. So now I'm just going to lay this nice and clean on there. I'm going to get my thread in position under my foot like I like it. Lay this down. Okay, so I'm going to start sewing. Do a little back tack, lock in the stitch, and as I approach, the edge, I can see it and feel the flange, it's right here. As the toe of the sewing foot gets to that flange, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna peel back the flange, see me right here, right there. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna stick the raw edge of flange piece number three up underneath the first flange and that exterior border. Bring the black for the exterior border back into position. It's really nice to have needle down for that. And now it's sewing as usual until I get to the end. I'm gonna stitch along nice and slow. And when I get to the other side, I'm gonna stop just a little bit further back than I did the first time. So here I am, slowly starting to approach the top side. Here is the flange here. I can feel it. I'm gonna go nice and slow. I wanna stop about an inch back from the beginning of that flange because I'm going to have to trim the inner border or the flange to fit just right. Now I can't do it with a rotary cutter. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna move this out of my way. A lot of times I'll actually put my presser foot up. Now here's the next trick. I take my scissors, my small little four inch blade, I lay the blade right there in the seam allowance. Does that make it a little easier to see? Maybe. For those of you who can't see without a flashlight, there it is again. I lay the scissor right in that seam, slice the flange. If I stop too far back, the flange is going to stretch a bit and not fit in. If I stop not far enough back, I'm going to have a heck of a time with a capital H getting my scissors in there. I'm going to finish out this side, back tack, cut my thread. If you've got that luxury, hit the button. I'll go ahead and do the other side and come back and press them open and we are set, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're all finished. That wasn't too bad. Look, you're smiling. I love it. Okay, there they are. There's my finger. Three dimensional flange borders, black exterior border from here on out. Safety pin based this quilt about every five inches onto some good uh, batting. Nice backing and then back to the machine for the free motion quilting. I hope you'll join me for that. Thanks again.